This is a chemical kinetics podcast in which ways to measure the chemical makeup or the composition of a combusting system will be discussed. For example, partial pressure, mass fractions, and molar fractions will be introduced. How much of a particular species there is is an important question. In combustion, there are several ways to answer this question. The moles of each species, the partial pressure of each species, the mole fraction of each species, or the mass fraction of each species. A common way to keep track of how much we have of a species is simply count them. Since we are talking about a lot of molecules, we use moles, as in the ideal gas law. The total number of moles of a system is simply the sum of the individual components. Using the ideal gas law, we can relate this number to a pressure. The definition of partial pressure can be derived from the ideal gas law. Within the ideal gas law relationship, substitute n with the summation. From this summation, bring out, leaving the partial pressure expression for the n species. The concept of partial pressure is useful to establish the composition of a gas mixture. It is directly proportional to the number of moles of a substance. For computations, it is often better to normalize so that the sum of the quantity is equal to 1. This gives a relationship between the quantities, like a percentage. The normalized quantities in terms of moles is called the mole fraction. By convention, the symbol x is used. The mole fraction is a fraction of number of moles of the i species over the total number of moles. The sum of the mole fractions is equal to 1. During the solving of the algebraic and differential equations, normalized quantities pr provide a distinct computational advantage. In kinetic computation, it is quite often used. Both the mole fraction and the partial pressure measure proportions of a given species. Multiplying the mole fraction by the total pressure represents a fraction of the total pressure. And cancelling n for the number of moles, we get an expression for partial pressure. The mole fraction represents a fraction of the total pressure. Since mass fraction is more directly measurable than moles, the mass percentage is often used. It is similar in concept to the mole fraction in that the sum is equal to 1. The difference is that the fraction with respect to weight. In combustion literature, this is actually the most common form when talking about quantity of a species within a combustion process. The key to the conversion between mole fractions, or concentrations, pressures, or moles, to mass fractions is the molecular weight of the species involved. The molecular weight of the mixture is the mole fractions of the weight of the individual species. The mass fractions is normalized value of the molecular weight multiplied by the mole fraction, measuring the fraction of the total molecular weight due to the species. By convention, the symbol used for mass fractions is Y. In evaluating scientific results, it is important to be able to convert between the many representations of units that are found within the literature. Fortunately, for the most part, it is only a matter of unit conversions using proportions relationships, i.e. not complicated, just bookkeeping. An important exercise to convert between moles, pressure, and weight, mass fractions, and mole fractions. For example, given a mixture of 50% oxygen and 50% hydrogen, what is the mole fractions and what are the mass fractions of the species? Of course, we have to make an assumption. First, 50% of what? This is often not said explicitly, however, since we're talking about two gaseous compounds at room temperature, we can safely assume that they're referring to partial pressure. The second assumption, used for computational convenience, is that the ideal gas law holds. To calculate mass fractions, first the masses of the individual species need, need to be calculated using moles times molecular weight. In this case, the species are oxygen and hydrogen. The total mass is the sum of the two species. The mass fractions are calculated by taking the mass of each species divided by the total weight, and this is done for hydrogen oxygen. By definition, the total mass fraction is 1. 50% means that 50% of the pressure is due to each species, 
meaning that the partial pressure is 0 0.5 atmospheres. By the ideal gas law, each has the same number of moles. Using the ideal gas law, we calculate the number of moles of the partial pressure 0 0.5, which is the same for both species. The mole fraction can then be cal calculated using yielding 0 0.5. In one sense, we could have known the mole fraction was 0 0.5 because the partial pressure are all the same, and hence the mole fractions are all the same. A more typical example consists of more complex mixture of species, each given in particular units. The calculations are not particularly difficult, but sometimes require bookkeeping and the conversion of units. Here we have the condition of the system with a reactor of 35 cubic centimeters instead of liters, temperature, pressure. Then we're talking about a more complex mixture when you're talking about 0.1% of a 90-10 mixture of enoch heptane and isooctane. We can complicate the thing with 5.5% of air, and of course that itself is a mixture of 79% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. And all this is diluted in argon. But still, we should be able to calculate the partial pressures of each species, the number of moles of each species, the mass fractions of each species, and also the mole fractions of each species. To calculate mass fractions, first the masses of the individual species need, need to be calculated using moles times molecular weight. In this case, the species are oxygen and hydrogen. The total mass is the sum of the two species. The mass fractions are calculated by taking the mass of each species divided by the total weight, and this is done for hydrogen and oxygen. By definition, the total mass fraction is 1.